After their A1000 series, Kingston launched a new M.2 PCIe SSD in the most popular mainstream class. We are talking about the A2000 model that uses NVMe protocol and the M.2 interface with four bi-directional PCIe Express paths in 3.0 version. A slight delay compared to other manufacturers can be interpreted as a move by which Kingston wanted to wait for the competition to take advantage of their trump cards and then present their best in the seemingly simple but very demanding class of devices. And many users look for the best possible device for the least amount of money possible, which is a challenge that even the strongest brands tend to fail. After SSD SATA drives have cleared the way, M.2 models are now taking the lead. Their prices are now similar and new generation of processors and chipsets have received more PCI communication lines needed to take advantage of the high data transfer rates of the new M.2 NVMe drives. At the same time, the capabilities of mechanical disks and their bottlenecks have been long surpassed, as the new generation of NAND drives is about 10 times faster than today's fastest hard drives. Such market development will undoubtedly direct you to use the M.2 NVMe model if you are purchasing and assembling a PC today. What we immediately noticed after unpacking the Kingston A2000 SSD is that the electronics are located on top of the printed circuit board in order to make use of the M.2 heatsink, which has become the standard equipment on motherboards these days. This design affects continuously fast data rates and long lifespan. For our test, we got the one terabyte model, which is more than enough for the primary system disk. This device uses the most commonly seen M.2 2280 format and communicates with the system via four PCIe lanes, each of which can transfer 1000 gigabytes of data per second in a bi-directional mode. It supports the new generation of NVMe 1.3 protocols and uses the Silicon Motion SM2263EN controller combined with the Micron 3D TLC flash memory. The Kingston A2000 uses Micron NAND chips made in 96 layers. The 1TB model is equipped with four 256GB flash chips, therefore the SM2263EN controller communicates with flash memory over 4 channels. Effective capacity after formatting is 931GB, as 69GB is stored for the so-called overprovision function for better performance and longer life. To ensure consistently good performance while continuously writing large files as well as working with small files, there's a 512MB DDR3-1600 SD RAM memory built-in used to cache data. To ensure a flawless operation, Silicon Motion Controller also has an exclusive NAND Extend Error Code Correction technology that not only detects but also corrects data errors in use. The Kingston A2000 features a hardware encryption mechanism using a 256-bit XTS-AES technology. There is also a TCG Opal 2.0 data security management that works in conjunction with software solutions from Symmetric, McAfee and WinMagic. E-Drive support is also included, which is used in conjunction with Windows BitLocker when AES calculations are automatically passed to a disk controller that encrypts and decrypts data during access and transfer. This makes the entire data protection process significantly more efficient so that the user does not notice any downtime. The Kingston A2000 M.2 NVMe is available in 250GB, 500 gigabytes and one terabyte of capacity. It consumes an extremely low amount of energy of only about two to five watts. The estimated operating lifetime is about two million hours and the manufacturer offers a five year of warranty. This disc also comes with Acronix True Image software so you can clone your current system disc to a new SSD. As usual, installation is very easy when it comes to M.2 models. It is important that the slot has support in the form of a spacer on the M2280 position, by which you attach this small printed circuit board to ensure the stability of the connection of the M.2 connector. An aluminum cooler with a suitable thermal conductive tape is installed over the SSD, which transfers and releases heat into the environment. The temperature difference with and without the cooler is 6 to 10 degrees Celsius with an open system outside of the case. 
As for the real world performance of Kingston A2000 SSD, we saw an extremely fast boot up and shutdown of the Windows 10 operating system. This SSD has shown some extremely high random read values, which benefit the Windows operating system and applications that load a lot of data of startup. Hence, the launch time of Metro and Battlefield games was shorter than the competing SSD models in this category. Transfer when copying large files reaches an effective 1.7 GB per second when reading and 1.6 GB per second while writing in File Explorer. This is the case for example when copying high quality 4K movies or installing larger games. However, when copying directories with a lot of small files you can clearly see that the effect of the cache, though its effect is limited when copying a directory which capacity exceeds the cache size, in which case, as with other models, the transfer ranges between 60 to 70 megabytes per second. Windows 10 system tests show the strong performance for this SSD due to the high values of sequential and random reads and we note that the Kingston A2000 is extremely fast and when uploading large projects files in Addo Premiere, 1GB loads in 5 seconds. Compared to the classic SATA models, it is 3.5 to 5 seconds faster on a relatively small sample project file. The Kingston A2000 is among the fastest M.2 NVMe models and most importantly it is extremely consistent in performance. It's obvious that Kingston avoided using optimization tricks because performance differences between synthetic tests and real world use are the smallest we've seen among the models we tested. It is definitely fast because it reaches the performance of the previously unmatched Samsung 970 EVO Plus series and even managed to surpass it in even some situations. The wait has finally paid off when it comes to Kingston A2000 and the best thing about it is its price, which is significantly lower than the competition. Comparing the 500GB models, the Samsung EVO 970 Plus costs around 110 US dollars, the Western Digital Black costs around 80 US dollars, while the A2000 costs only 69 US dollars, making it among the cheapest mainstream models. Given that its performance is almost equal to the Samsung and definitely better than the Western Digital Black NVMe, it rightfully deserves a purchase recommendation from us. Thank you once again for watching yet another Bench House review. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like and comment below the video. My name is Marco, please stay tuned for more reviews from the tech world. See you next time.